Wheels Up has been described as the Uber for private plane travel, and the company just raised $200 million in new capital. Joining us now is friend of the show, Kevin, or sorry, Kevin, Kenny Dichter. Um, congratulations on this new round of funding. I appreciate that. Uh, all good, and uh, we're flying high. $200 million <laughs> or more cap I, I, I know, growth I was, capital. I know, combining your names together, uh, your first and your last. What are you going to do with the new money? Well, I think the new money uh, is a great mandate from our investors to keep going and maybe even go a little faster. You got a couple of things that we're going to do. One is we're going to take our digital to the next level, mm -hmm. which means make it easier and more convenient for our membership to be able to book the airplanes. We're going to push hard on social aviation, which is make sure our digital uh, handles the ability to share flights and do shuttles and connect members, which is really important. Uh, secondly, we're going to keep uh, pounding our growth in North America. We're going to add more planes to our fleet, which is great for our members, and it's great for our metrics. Mm -hmm. More airplanes equal more density, equals better results, more efficiency. Where can you fly a wheels-up plane these days? Where can you fly where one? Where can you, yes. You tell me, where do Anywhere you want to go? Anywhere in North America. Anywhere in North America. Which makes it different than some of the other competitors out there, which are simply yeah, focused on the East Coast. Yes, we're, we're, we're a national player today. Uh, we have 80 aircraft on our fleet, which puts us in the, the top strata of folks that are operating fleets. Mm -hmm. um, so again, if you're a member, you give us 24 hours notice, mm -hmm. you tell us where you are, we send the airplane and take you wherever you want to go. Let's go through some of the costs. I'm going to Seattle later today. Probably huh? can't book it now because it's less than 24 hours. How much would it cost? Hold on, we, being Wait. that you're a distinguished member, oh. or if you were a distinguished member, we would always hustle. 24 hours is the guarantee. Okay. But uh, if you told us you're going to Seattle later, we send you over to see Russell and Sierra, two of our big... Uh, Seahawks. Seahawks, two of our big ambassadors yeah. out there. They'll, uh, they might even take you to dinner. Ooh, okay, I like that. So um, I would go on the app and I would, was there a special section on the app to request an expedited approval process? And yeah, I think when it's less than 24 hours, yeah. you may have to pick up uh, old Alexander Graham Bell's invention. Right. You might have to get on the phones with member services and see what we could sort out. And how much would it cost for me to travel to Seattle? To Seattle, I would say that our program, Wheels Up, we're focused on the one to two hour flight, sort of the short haul. Sure. So I would say our baseline plane, the King Air 350i, it probably require a stop or two if you were going I to Seattle. See. So I wouldn't recommend uh, Wheels Up proper King and Excel. Okay. But what I would say is you get on the phone with our Wheels Up flight desk where we have access to 90 plus operators that are vetted and verified from a safety perspective. And we get to get you to Seattle today. What would it cost? What's it, $25,000, $30,000? Okay, I can, I can afford US. that, absolutely. US. Easy. Yes. Company's equity valued at about almost $700 million, enterprise value of a billion dollars. Yes. Walk us through the financials. What is working for the company? First and foremost, we created a disruptive way that people can join a club. So think more Netflix than NetJets. So we have a, a differentiation there. You're a member. I think the membership economy is alive and kicking. And number two is we set up a disruptive price point on our baseline airplane, the King Air 350i. For eight seats, you can travel an hour for $4,295, okay. all eight seats. Mm -hmm. If you're walking up to LaGuardia today to go to Boston, you might pay $1,000 a seat. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a price point that for businesses, I like to say CEOs like us, but CFOs love us. Because mm -hmm. it's a, yeah, price? financially better for them. Well, yeah, so is that your target demographic, executive level? Well, at the end of the day, you got two, two, two memberships. Okay. One is sort of focused on high net worth individuals that need right. to go from A to B to C and want to avoid the airport and uh, time is money. Mm -hmm. Number two is your CFO, is we have the most effective transportation solution for any business, whether you're Fortune 1000 or whether you're a mom and pop that does 10 or $20 million. We have the best asset and the best program to get to A to B, less than two hours in length. You can see three, four cities in a day, mm -hmm. three, four customers in a day, and get home for dinner. How far off is international travel? International travel, at this point in time, you'd be using our flight desk. I think that with the additional capital, it gives us a great path to get into Western Europe. Mm -hmm. Western Europe, 85% of flights, North America, 80% of flights are less than two hours in length, which is perfect for our King Air 350i. 52 of the top 58 city pairs in Western Europe be, can be covered by the King Air 350i nonstop. It's a layup territory for us. I sold my first European business, Marquee Jet Europe to Berkshire Hathaway, to Buffett in 2004. We're ready to go back into Europe. Yeah, I'm thinking of all those executives that need to get to London and elsewhere. I remember Mark. By the way, and you're flying London City versus going to one of the outskirt airports. You're going right into London City on that King Air 350i. No, I remember Marquis Jets when you guys were on The Apprentice. They were on the, the, the pedicabs in the back. 
And by the way, The Apprentice was really our coming out. Yeah. Uh, 35, 40 million homes, second episode. Uh, an incredible honor to be on that show. And uh, that was really the breaking of, of, of Marky Jet at the time. It's a good season. But Wheels Up on Entourage was a good, that is was a, true. Was a good forward. That is very true. Yeah. Very, very true. All right. Thanks so much, Kenny Dichter. He's the founder and the CEO of Wheels Up here on Cheddar. Thanks again. Well, I appreciate everything. And I would say to all the millennial watchers out yeah. there, you're one deal away. From one being deal a, away. From one being startup wheels, away. One startup away. <laughs> one exit away from being Wheels Up or ready for oh you. Oh, my. All right. Fingers crossed for that. All right. Thanks, Kenny.